Hi right, guys, this is Jeff Simons Racing. This video is about how to install the E-Line pipe guard on the new uh, chassis bikes. Uh, the 23, 250 and 300 XC and SX, and then the uh, same models in Husqvarna. Does not apply to the gas gas because they don't have this new pipe yet. They'll have it next year. <clears throat> All right, so uh, typically in the past, uh, E-line pipe guards, you just, I just push them on with my hand and then they stay in position. We get a lot of guys that call, say they don't fit when they actually do. I've got another video that goes over that. I'll post that at the bottom of this video in the description section so you can watch it. Uh, watch that as well. We'll just put a link down there. Uh, but this one's a little bit trickier. It does not, if, once you pop it on, it does not stay there. It falls down. So you got to, it's almost a two-person job, but you can do it with one. Because what you have to do on this one is on this, this is, you start on this side. So you take this hose clamp and you put it around here first and you just snug it up. You don't have to, you know, crank it down or anything. Just snug it a little bit. Uh, you can see I've got it on there. And then after I get done here, I'll loosen it up and I'll rotate this in just a little bit more to hide it. And then I'll cut this the the tail off with a uh, tin snips that's the easiest way to cut these hose clamps they're pretty tough tin snips goes right through them all right so i've got that on there and that holds it in position for me well i put on the other side and what's different about this year is is typically when you pop them on they fit snug all the way around but i don't know why this year they've got this gap right here until you tighten it down so that makes it a little bit trickier to install. Uh, I know Ron over at E-Line very well, known him for years. I've definitely busted his balls about this. I don't like it, you know, that just because it makes the installation a little bit harder. It does not affect how it works at all. It's very functional just, you know, once it's installed, but it's a little bit more of a pain to, to put on there. And if you guys happen to see him at an event, be sure and uh, kick him in the pants for me, and uh, but but please don't say anything that might hurt his one feeling. So uh, from there, I use what's called the hook method. That's what they call it, an E-line. And that is, you take one end, I mean, you, you take and you have to cut the, the clamp. And in my other video about it, pipe guard installation. I explained this in detail, so I'm not going to do that here, but you can see I've cut it and I've bent it with a pair of pliers and then I just hook it in here. So I'm trying to do this with one hand and then it's going to come. Then it's going to come under here and hook into this adjustable piece and then just snug it up and uh, snug it up just a little and then Kind of take your hand or a uh, rubber mallet or a dead blow mallet and, you know, push back on it to make sure it's in position all the way. And then snug it down the rest of the way and snug down the other one the rest of the way. Then what I like to do is I like to ride them a couple of times, you know, get whatever, 50, 60 miles on it with kind of heat and go through some heat cycles. Uh, then it will kind of form a little bit better to the pipe. And I tighten it down a little bit more. You know, don't get carried away. I'm sure you could pull this piece of carbon fiber out of here if you crank on this adjuster too much. So uh, I've never done that, but I'm sure it could happen. So just, you know, it doesn't need to be cr cranked down and there's definitely no torque setting for it. So sorry if you torqueaholics are stroking out about now, but anyhow, it's a, it's a beautiful piece. You can see that it fits well, looks nice. I mean, these carbon fiber guards are just plain sexy looking and I give you that factory look. And uh, I think that's about it, guys. So please like us on Instagram and Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and uh, help out with your trails whenever you can. Get out for some throttle therapy. Hope to see you on the trails this year, 2023. Ciao.